Okay. Hello, Mr. Bernard. I'd like to uh, ask you, do you believe that all believers will eventually be one the way that uh, God and the Father and the Son are one? Well, if you're referring to John 17, I would say not as two persons of the Trinity are one, but in the sense that Jesus as a man submitted perfectly to God and was united in fellowship with God. That is the model for all believers to be in fellowship with God and with each other. Can you explain uh, verse 20 and 21? Of John 17? Yes. Uh, 17, me... 20, and 21. Okay, John. let me turn there and take a look at it. Interestingly, if this was talking about the Trinity, you would have the implication that believers could be just as much one as the Trinity. So there you'd have my three men down here being just as one as the Trinity, which I think he has already said he does not accept that. So you can't explain these verses from as referring to the Godhead. You can only explain them as referring to the man Christ Jesus in relationship with God. So from that perspective, verse 20, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So just as Jesus, that man, sent from God on a mission, has fellowship with Almighty God. So we are to seek to have fellowship with God and fellowship with one another in a perfect sense. Now that is not all that oneness with God means. This is speaking of Christ as a man. But in John 10.30, you have a oneness that transcends uh, humanity when he says, I and my Father are one. And then John 14, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Now I can say... This man and I are one in the sense of unity, like Christ the man was with God. But I can't say if you've seen me, you've seen that man. Even with my wife, we become one flesh. But I can't say if you've seen me, you've seen my wife. So Jesus also spoke in other passages of a oneness that transcended the oneness we're talking about in John 17.